Hi, my name is Chris and I'm a solutions architect at Red Hat. In this short three minutes video, I want to show you how easy it is to migrate virtual machines from VMware to Red Hat OpenShift virtualization. I'm going to start this demo with the view of the VMware vSphere. There's two VMs that I'm planning to migrate from the VMware to the OpenShift virtualization, which is the App VM2 and App Web Server 1. Going to OpenShift Virtualization Console or OpenShift Console, uh, I do have a migration sections on the left side where I specified my target host, which is the OpenShift Virtualization, and then source, uh, which in, in my case is VMware we were just looking at. In order to initialize the migration, I will create a plan for it first. So click by clicking on the plans for virtualization and selecting create plans, I can specify the name of my uh, plan together with selecting the source provider and the target provider, which is myself. Uh, finally, I need to select the project that I will be migrating these virtual machines to. So I'm going to select Migration Vert, which I created specifically for this use case. Uh, select the data center from the VMware. And then I need to select the two VMs that I have designated to move, which is the App Web Server and App VM2. You can see that even though the App Web Server has passed the validations for migration, uh, the App VM2 does display a warning. I can safely ignore these warnings here since I don't need the change block tracking for the, for the war migration, and I'm okay with disabling UFI secure boot during the migration. Select next and then in the network mapping section, I can either select one of the pre-existing mapping or create a new one by mapping the open uh, shift network with the VMware network. So I'm going to do that and we'll do exactly the same for storage. I'm going to map the data store from the VMware with the data store with the uh, open shift virtualization. Finally, I'm going to select the cold migration. And then I don't need any hooks that will execute any code pre or post migration. Uh, I can review what I've uh, done, select the two VMs and map the, both network and the data stores. And finally, uh, I can either wait for the maintenance window or, or in my case, I can just execute the migration by selecting the start button. It only takes a couple of minutes for the two virtual machines we've selected to finish migration. And now we can verify them by going into the virtualization and virtual machines and then switching to the project that we have designated for the new virtual machines to be on. And then you can see both of the VMs are in the running state here. Uh, I can verify the console and see that indeed the VM has completed. If I move to the vSphere, you should now see the two VMs in questions are in a stop state, uh, but they are not removed from the VMware itself in case I need to roll back. Thank you. That concludes the demo for the uh, migration from VMware to OpenShift virtualization.